Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, week of Thanksgiving, it's November. And we got this house to pour today. It's cold. It's, it was about 18 degrees at my house when I left. We had about a 45 minute ride. But work's got to go on. We got to get these things done. It's supposed to get up into the 30s today, so it's going to cure okay. Being that it's on styrofoam will help a lot. The mix we're using today, we got a 3500 PSI mix. We got 120 degree water in the batch uh, mix, so when the concrete comes out, it should be in the 60s. We got a liquid, a little bit of a liquid accelerator in it, plus we're using bag plate calcium for accelerator. Two 10 and a half yard loads are supposed to do that. I don't know, when I get here this morning, it looks a little thick. All them blankets were covering that, so I couldn't really see it when I came up yesterday. And they were frozen to the surface. It took three of us just to remove one blanket. It was frozen right to the surface. So we're going to hope 21 yards does it. If not, we'll have to call in for a balance, which will be kind of a bummer. But that's on. That's what we got for a job to do today. <laughs> access isn't very good. I couldn't get a pump truck. I couldn't get the conveyor truck. So that's the only access. We'll have to hook on our 16, get it onto a saw hus, onto our little one if we need it. Plus, we got high range water reducers, so we can pour it really loose. We can pour a seven or an eight inch slump with that high range in there. So, that's, I'm sure that's what we're going to do to make our lives a little bit easier today. We're just about ready to get going. Just to let you guys know, I've been doing this 42 years and it doesn't get any easier doing it in the cold after all that time. It actually gets harder for me. I get colder quicker, especially the tips of my fingers. The, your feet don't get too cold because usually the concrete's kind of warm. But you could hear the crunching going on from us walking on that styrofoam. It had rained a few nights before and then the, the GC put those blankets on top. And even on those blankets, they were just they were just a bunch of like ice on top of the blankets. But the blankets had frozen. The bottom of the blankets had frozen to the styrofoam. So when we showed up this morning, you know, usually one guy can remove one blanket. The blanket's about 25 feet long and five feet wide. It took three of us to remove each blanket. And there was I don't know there was probably 20 blankets on here. I don't, it probably took us over a half an hour just to get the blankets off this they were frozen so tight to the surface uh, but once we got them off you know it was okay we usually leave our trucks running so we can jump in the truck real quick and get warmed up it only takes usually a few minutes to get warmed back up and then uh, there wasn't really much prep for us to do on this because we're matching top of wall the only thing I wasn't sure of in advance was like what the thickness was on this usually the guy that grades these gets them really really good Trouble is, the guy that usually grades all these, this is like a housing development up here. We've done multiple houses up here. But the guy that usually grades these didn't grade this one for some reason. And you'll see, you know, towards the middle to the end of the video, <laughs> just what happens when somebody else grades something and you don't end up checking it. You know, it's just the things you go through as a concrete contractor. But we're getting this down. You can see the steam coming off the concrete. We, we, the concrete could actually be warmer than it is, you know. I, I did ask the batch man to turn the water up to about, it was 100 degrees, and I asked him to turn it up another 20, 25 degrees. So he's got it up around 125 degrees. And even that really isn't warm enough for days like today, you know, when it's, when it's in the teens when you start. It'd be better off if the, if the water temps at the batch plant were around, you know, between 140 and 160 then you got really really hot concrete as you're dumping this out 
So that's that's generally where they go, you know, starting in December and January up here. And we got to start picking our days. You know, this this is kind of borderline for us. We know it's going to get above freezing today, but it's not going to be above freezing for very long. So days much colder than this, we'd probably have to cancel and just wait for another day. Um, good thing about good thing about that screed is we don't have to bend over and screed most of this. So that's that's kind of making it a little bit easier. So that's Luke screeding and Darren and Harvey are kind of puddling the concrete behind them. They're raking it out. What I'm doing in the background is after seeing that first truck get dumped out and it didn't even go halfway, I'm measuring what we got left to do square footage wise and then the thickness and I'm figuring out how much concrete it's going to take to finish this floor the way it is right now. I know I got 10 and a half yards on that truck sitting in the driveway, but it figures about figures around 15 yards from what we got left. So I got to make a call. I called the batch man and luckily he had a third truck that was sitting right there at the plant. So I was like, well, send me four and a half yards. Instead of 3,500, make it 4,500. Give it a little more cement. Hopefully that'll, that'll help it set up a little bit quicker. You know, but, but he's got a 45 minute ride. By the time he batches him and he rides up to where we are today, you know, it's, it's gonna be close to an hour from when I made the phone call. So, and it ain't gonna really take us all that long to get this second truck dumped out. Probably by the time we dump him out and screed him and bull float him like where we are right now, it's probably gonna be about 30 minutes. So we're gonna have a little bit of a wait in between. And it's just right now at this point is where I start warming up, you know, with all the movement going on, my fingers get a little bit warm, my body starts warming up, my feet are already warm. So that's kind of where we're at. All right, so this 10 and a half, that didn't go halfway. 21 yards is supposed to do this, and it ain't gonna, that's about five inches thick down there, it's supposed to be four. So I just called in a balance for four and a half yards. Luckily he had a truck there, but it's a 45 minute ride from the plant, so it's gonna be a little bit of spacing in between these. And I think, you know, pawn wise will be okay. It's just when it comes to finishing, the spacing like that kind of sucks. But hopefully by the time we get him dumped, screeded, bolt loaded, that third truck won't be too far behind.
So there's the two trucks down that should have done the whole floor. 21 yards should have done this. Actually, I figured 20 at four inches. This old piece was about five, so the excavator kind of messed it up for us. There is a balance truck coming. 
Um, I called it in right after the first truck because I knew we weren't going to finish. So hopefully he's not too long. The first truck is setting up pretty good. The warm water, the accelerator in it, and the 3500 PSI with the water reducer. It's firming up. It's going to be a while before we get on it, but you can tell it's starting to firm up. We probably got, you know, with that type of mix, cold weather, concrete mix, we probably got about 20 minutes or so to work with it where it's still good and liquid and then it starts really firming up. So you want to be able to get that stuff down, get it screeded and get it bull floated before too long. But we'll wait for that that third truck to come and um, we'll, see you, we'll see you back here when that shows up. All right, balance is here, four and a half yards. But it's not gonna take that much, but I did have to guess after that first truck and I didn't want to run out with a balance. So I got plenty, four and a half yards. Um, we actually got 4,500 PSI on this mix, so hopefully it'll catch up to the other stuff. That stuff's setting up pretty good already. Well, let's get this done. Robinson. All right, that's gonna do it. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm freezing, my fingers are fro frozen right now. That first, uh, whole first truck, my fingers were freezing, my body was real cold. And then when we get into the second truck, I started to warm up a little bit. But then having to wait around for this third truck, you know, we're just standing out here in 20 degree weather, it gets cold. Uh, we're gonna just finish washing up. Uh, Darren and Luke will stay to power trial this, they'll get it smooth, hopefully they'll get it sawed today and then they'll recover it with the blankets. And then that's gonna be it for today. So. I'm going to head over and get make sure uh, tomorrow's job is ready and then Thursday, Friday, you know, Thanksgiving's Thursday, Friday we have off and then I'll go check out our Monday job too just to make sure the next couple days we got coming up we're ready to go. So thanks for watching guys, we'll see you on the next one.